Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 25th April 2023. The problem statement for today is Game of Subsets. Let's now open this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. The problem, the problem statement says, Elena is the topper of the class. Once her teacher asked her a problem. He gave Elena an array of integers of length n. He calls a subset of array ARR good if the product can be represented as the product of one or more distinct prime numbers. He asked her to find the number of number of different good subsets in the array modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. As a good friend of Elena, help her to solve the solve this problem. Okay. So the problem here, it is asking us to count the number of good subsets that can be formed from a given array of integers. A subset is good if and only if the product of all its elements can be expressed as the product of the powers of sum of some distinct prime number. Okay, it can be ex expressed as the product of powers of some distinct prime numbers. So let's go through some given examples here to understand, understand it in a better way. So the, so the first example says that n is equal to 4 and array contained element 1, 2, 3, 4. So here the output is 6. So the, the good subset of this array are uh, 1 and 2. The product is 2 which is product of distinct prime number 2. 1, 3, 2. The, another subset can be 1, 3, 2. So here the product is 6 which is the product of distinct primes of 2 and 3. 1 and 3. Product is 3 which is the product of distinct prime 3. When the subset is 2 only, then the product is 2, which is the product of distinct prime 2. 2 and 3, the product is 6, which is the product of distinct prime 2 and 3. And here at last, the subset include element 3, and here the product is again 3, which is the product of distinct prime 3. So here total we can see, total we have got 6, um, six subsets where the product can be represented by the product of distinct prime numbers. Okay. When we move to the next example, here it is uh, said input is three, uh, input contains a, n is equal to three and array elements contain two, two, three. So here the output is five. The good subsets are two, 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 three, two, three and three. So when you multiply uh, each of them, so we will get a product that will act as the product of some distinct prime numbers. Okay, so I hope the problem statement and the given examples are clear. So the approach which will be used, which we will use for solving this problem is um, the approach will be of the dynamic programming. Here the goal is to count the number of good subsets in an array where a subset is considered good if it does not contain two numbers that share a prime number. The algorithm will first pre-compute an array of masks representing whether each number from 2 to 30 is divisible by any of the first n prime numbers. Then it uses dynamic programming to compute the, to compute the number of good subsets for each possible subset mask. Finally, it computes the total number of good subsets by summing the counts in the dynamic programming array and multiplies by 2 raised to the power of the count of ones in the input array if there are any that means any number of ones are there then we will take up this operation that we multiply by uh, 2 raised to the power of the count of the ones okay so this this is the approach which we will follow in this one so with this approach i have prepared one solution um, let me just copy it here just to save time in typing i'll explain it line by line what it is happening in this uh, um, solution so let me go to java editor and here i am pasting it okay so here again i have given i have given comments against each line so that it becomes easy in understanding so here uh, as, as we can see um, here it contains three private static final fields that is mod primes and primes mask mod is set to 10 to the power 9 plus 7 which is commonly used in competitive programming problems. Primes is an array 
is an array of the first 10 prime numbers that is it starts from 2 and 3 5 7 11 13 19 23 and 29 so these are the first 10 prime numbers prime mask prime mask um, is an array of integer where prime mask of i represents a bit mask that encodes whether i is divisible by each of the prime numbers in prime okay especially if i is divisible by prime of j then j the j minus the uh, j, j minus the, the jth bit sorry then the jth bit of the prime uh, prime mask of i is set to 1 okay so these three are the purposes of these three uh, arrays here and why we have taken only uh, first 10 prime numbers if you go here then here we can see the array contained element only up to 30 and since we have to find that uh, uh, list of good subset where a product can be represented by the um, product of distinct prime numbers so it can be possible with these numbers only so that's why we have taken that one and again when i'm talking about this one uh, this prime mask uh, array it is an array of integers where prime mask of i represent the uh, represent a bit mask that encodes where i is divisible by each of the prime numbers in prime or not so we will try to divide um, the range the range of the number by the numbers in, uh, which is given in this prime array if it is divisible then we will set that bit in the prime mask array as 1 okay so here once that is done then here it comes the static block so this static block initialization block, uh, sorry this static block initializes prime mask array it iterates over the integer from 2 to 30 uh, because the first prime number is 2 here uh, that means when we talk about uh, the range of integers so the first prime number is 2 because 1 is neither prime nor composite so first prime number is 2 that's why we start from um, 2 to 30 and for each in, uh, and for each integer i it computes the total it compute its corresponding prime mask as as the following steps it try traits over the each prime number in primes and if i is divisible by the prime number it sets the corresponding bit in mask okay it then stores mask in prime number mask in prime number of i i that means in in the index index position i unless i is divisible by 4 9 or 25 in which case prime mask of i is left at its default value of 0 so when we get um, any number any number um, uh, sorry when we get any value of i that is equal to 4 9 and 25 then we we do not set the uh, prime mask as 1 we will continue from his, from this uh, from this point only and move to the next iteration the reason is that if you look at that uh, problem statement so here it is said that the product can be represented by product of one or more distinct prime numbers okay and since since these are the square numbers that means 2 um, um, 4 is the square of 2 9 is the square of 3 25 is the square of 5 so in all these cases uh, we will see um, that um, 2 is coming to uh, that means 4 it can be represented by 2 into 2 so here it is not the distinct prime numbers because two two prime numbers are common so it is here it is sharing that thing when we talk about three so it will again the multiple the nine can be written as three into three so the prime numbers are not distinct that's why when these uh, things are coming then we are uh, continuing in this loop we will not set that one apart from that it computes the prime mask mask and uh, while iterating our each prime number in prime and if i is divisible by that prime number it sets the corresponding bit in mask and it then stores the mask in prime mask of i okay so after this uh, we move to the next method this method this method is a utility method that is used in in the next one so uh, see that was the static block um, which got uh, uh, which was used for initializing prime mask but when we talk about that that starting point of the main method of the computation of this problem so here it takes an integer and so this is that method it takes an integer array and it has the number of good subsets of array it first initializes one count to zero dp to an array of length to the power to, to the power 10 that is equal to 1024 and prime counts to the to an array of length uh, 30 
थर्टी वन इट देन एट्रिक्स ओवर ईच इंटीजर आई इन इन एरे इफ आई इज वन देन इंक्रीमेंट्स द काउंट देन इट इंक्रीमेंट्स वन काउंट एल्स दैट मीन अदरवाइज इफ आई इज डिविजर बाय एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ द प्राइम नंबर्स इन प्राइम्स देन इट इंक्रीमेंट प्राइम काउंट्स ऑफ आई बाय डूइंग प्लस प्लस ऑपरेशन हेयर ओके वंस दिस इज डन देन नेक्स्ट इट पॉपुलेट्स द डी पी एर ए यूजिंग द डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग या इट सॉरी नेक्स्ट इट पॉपुलेट्स द डी पी एर ए यूजिंग द डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर ईच आई फ्रॉम जीरो टू थर्टी बोथ इंक्लूसिव इफ प्राइम काउंट्स इफ प्राइम काउंट्स ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट स्किप टू द नेक्स्ट आइट्रेशन सो हियर इफ इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट स्किप टू द नेक्स्ट आइट्रेशन then whatever is the value if this is not the case then whatever the value of i we have got in through this prime mask uh, from uh, what will whatever we'll get uh, the value at index position of i that will store in prime mask okay <coughs> then what we do then we iterate over the integer j from 0 to 1 0 to 3 inclusive and if the bit wise bit wise and of j and prime mask is non zero it skips to the next iteration otherwise it up, it updates uh, this dp of j then here the logical operation of or this one to the equal to uh, the the value from the previous step and to this we will multiply uh, sorry uh, yeah to this we will add dp of j into prime count of i modulo mod okay so here i have written the comment here as well if the prime mask of i and the current subset mask j have any bits in common then adding i to j would create a bad subset that is a subset that contains two numbers that share a prime factor okay if that is the case then we leave out this one and we continue to the next iteration if that is not the case then we update then we update the value of um, dp of uh, j logical or prime prime mask by adding dp of j into prime count of i modulo 10 modulo uh, sorry modulo mod value and once this population of dp array is done then what we do it compute the total number of subset as um, as the following steps here it initializes the answer to 0 here the answer count to 0 and iterates over the i just over each element in the dp by adding answer modulo mod it then subtracts <coughs> yeah ha then it subtracts one from it uh, to exclude the empty subset if one count is greater than 0 this will this multiplies the result by 2 to the power one count to the number to the number of the to the number uh, to the account of the number of ways to which uh, to choose the one count that is oneness the function returns the result modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 okay so once that is that once that dp array populated uh, population is done then what we do we initialize the answer variable to zero then we loop through the dp array which contains the the count of subset that can be formed using prime numbers add each count to the to the answer variable and take modulo with mod to avoid integer overflow and after once this is done once we added all the count to the uh, from this dp array to the answer variable then we decrement the answer by 1 to exclude the empty subset if there are any ones in the input array multiply the answer with 2 2 raised to the power of the count of ones okay and uh, whatever the value we get that we return as an integer okay so this was the complete solution of it and uh, um, for calculating this 2 uh, to the power the count of um, one there we are using this utility method which computes 2 to the power n mod 2 uh, uh, to the power n modulus mod in the logarithmic time using the binary exponential by squaring okay so it will compute the 2 to the power n uh, n uh, computation but uh, it is using binary exponentiation so it it gives the result in logar logarithmic time that means log n time so this was the complete solution for this problem let me try compiling this code
ओके समथिंग 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 Yeah, now let me try compiling it again. Actually, I copied it in the, at the wrong place. So here we can see we have got correct output for this given example. Let's try submitting the solution. So here we can see uh, we have got all the test cases covered. So this problem has been solved successfully uh, currently in Java. So talking about the time complexity of the solution, it is in the order of big O of n into 2 to the power m, where n is the length of the input array and m is the number of prime numbers and that means the number of prime factors in the range 2 and 30, in the range 2 and 30. The initialization of the prime mask array takes big O of m time. The first loops over the input array to count the number of occurrences of 1 and the prime numbers takes big O of n into m time. The second loops, the second loop, atri yeah, the second loop over the prime count, and the DP array takes big of n into ten to the power, uh, sorry, big of m into two to the power ten, ten times. That is that is equal to big of one zero two four into m. Inside this loop, the bitwise operation takes constant time, and update the DP array takes big of one time. So the overall time complexity is in the order of big of m into 2 to the power 10. Okay, so we can write it in the form of big of n into 2 to the power m, where m is the number of prime factors in the range of 2 and 30. Okay, so now let's move to the C++ editor and let's provide that solution as well. Even I prepared solution in that as well. Here the logic is completely same. Only the syntactical difference between C++ and Java that is here. Here also we have taken the same thing. We are defining the, the prime numbers between uh, 2 to 30. Then um, we check all the things and we we compute that mask array with the mask after checking for the, for all those conditions that um, I was I did in Java language. And here also, here also we define the same thing. We calculate the count of 1 and the count of uh, the prime numbers. And again, we um, updates this DP of J logical or uh, that um, um, the prime factors of I and that means the prime mask of I that variable whatever value we get. And if uh, so, th that update is happening. And after that, we add all the sums to this answer and we subtract one to exclude the empty count. And uh, if you get the number of ones that is greater than one. Then we calculate the power with that value value, and we do mod operation and we add it to the uh, this one. We update the value of um, the value of the answer variable. And at last we represent, uh, we return whatever is the count we have got in answer. Okay, so let's try compiling this code. So even with C++ we have got the same solution. Actually the um, logic is completely same only the difference in coding is there. The syntactical difference. So here also we can see with uh, C++ also we are able to cover all the six cases. So this problem has been solved successfully with both C++ and Java. So I'll provide the link for this question and the link for the solution code in Java and C++ in the description box. Please do check that. That's all in this video. Please like, comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.